Welcome back to Penzance Plays. Where we are going to go deeper into Cradle. So I'm kind of happy to say that um, me playing this on stream and, well, playing it again at all, really, has gotten a buddy of mine back into it. His character is significantly higher level than mine. Or at least more powerful, so. We will probably not be um, partying with him until a little later. At the very least, I want to take down the Snarbel Axe first. Um, before we join forces and kick ass as a duo. Um, that said, I'm not going to say that this game actually gets easier when you have a friend along. Um, this game gets... the enemies get tougher, um, but you do have the chance to like revive each other if you fall down. Um, that said, you have to rely on that mechanic a lot harder um, if there's two of you. Uh, I haven't really played with three on like a consistent basis, and I've never played with four people, which I think is the maximum party size. But um, what's really sad is that the the I think this would actually make a really good like just like console adventure game, like Spiral Knights. Really, the whole multiplayer aspect is kind of downplayed anyway. Because um, there is so much solo play available. Okay. I'm still learning things, apparently. Thing is so much fun. Ah, okay. My buddy reminded me that there's a a shift, uh, basically a dash function. Which apparently is working sort of, but not really for me. Crunch. I do like the huge freaking hatchet I've got going right now. It's a fun thing to be using. You don't want to rely on the knockback too much though, because it does not work against bosses. Ow. It set me on fire. It set me on fire. Yes, you can block being on fire. No, it doesn't make sense. I'll take it. Probably a less painful way of doing that, but I'm impatient. Ah, the little cage blocks. They contain a monster. We run into those a lot later when it's... They kind of like try and set them up as like a sadistic choice. Like, you know, you, you need to hit this switch, but if you're not careful, you'll hit this block and unleash all these monsters. I usually just unleash the monsters anyway because I like loot. I really do. Loot is, you know, the reason I play this game. It's because I want loot. What the crap? Really does seem like it should do more damage than that, but 
the uh, heavy hatchet has an advantage of it's got a really high potential power level. So as long as you're you keep it around for a while, like you can one shot a lot of things later in the game with one of these. I want to have the fire shield. Now the little white and blue pill actually clear status effects, so it's a good idea to like keep one around. But right now I'm not really being affected by too much in the way of status effects, so I'm not worried about it. Set him on fire. Ow. Ow. Yeah, something that gives me extra melee damage would be a good thing. Thanks for releasing me. Hooray! Are you gonna follow me around and help me now? Because that would be awesome. He's got a proto sword, but he's got a defender shield, and those are nice shields. Well, catch up. He'd probably just tell. Yeah, he teleports right to me. I'm gonna fuck you guys up so bad. Gonna stab you up. Hit you with my hatchet and shoot you with my gun. Shoot you with my gun. Shoot you with my shoot you with my shoot you with my gun. And a big hatchet. Do. Do 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 do. Ow. Shoot you with my shoot 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 you with my gun. this one. I'll give it this much. They really made the, uh, this one a little tough to maneuver around in. That's a missile one, isn't it? Crap, that's a missile one. Reasonably bring a gun. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Now I get the Vita Pop. Whatever. You guys suck. Oh, the game's being updated in an hour. Well, that'll be a good break time anyway. Frost gun leveled up, force buckler leveled up. Sweet. That hatchet is just comically huge for the fact that I'm wielding it one-handed. We like my frost gun. We like it a great deal. And I'm just gonna do the regular two here for the force bucket because that doesn't really need. I don't know, kind of heat bonus anyway. All right, so uh, inventory. Let's see what we've got here. Cobalt helm. Uh, higher defensive power, piercing resistance. That's a good idea to have right now. Um, hmm. I really like the magic hood though, just because of the fire and the shock resistance. And it's also got a heat bonus right now. So, I might as well stick with that, because it's the same uh, level. Now the armor, on the other hand, where'd it go? There it is. Cobalt armor. Yeah, I'm going to need the piercing resistance. Uh, that's kind of nice. That's pretty neat looking. Yeah. 
We like how that looks. We like how that looks. I'm gonna go over here to the guns and explosives merchant. I'm going to. I can sell that. Ha ha! I can sell that. Double ha ha! Check out. And I still can't buy. Oh, you don't even have. That's interesting. Oh, you have a pepper box. Ooh. Definitely want me one of those. Hmm. He had an auto gun last time I was here. He does not have an auto gun anymore. It's a fire gun. It's an adverse gun gun. Crowd to Alchemer. It's a lot of damage, but it's all elemental. Normal gun. Really, I want a shotgun. I want a shotgun so bad. It'd just be so much fun to have a shotgun. Alright. So, with that all said and done, I cannot get rid of my starting equipment. Let's see how many more missions we can take care of before. Ah, oh, yes, the strength and unity. This will give me my defender. And the bomb blast. The blast bomb. Ooh. Defend the Geo Knights from a monstrous assault. Oh, that sounds amazing. The next mission, I hate. This one's not so bad, but the next one, I hate. Okay, let's get it going here. Yeah. So my gun's going to do less damage, but I've got some piercing defense, which is going to come in handy when we go up against the Snarbal Axe, because he does a lot of piercing damage. This is important to note, because Snarbal Axe and um, a lot of beasts like him do piercing damage, and as a friend of mine has discovered, the later you get into the game, the more you have to really tailor your defenses to what you're going up against, because you will get your shit wrecked otherwise. Which is a marked change from, like, at this point in the game, where I'm at, where you don't really have to worry about it quite so much. Explode for me, chump. I thought that was going to be. Honestly, I, I prefer having a faster melee weapon. Like, the heavy hatchet is hilarious, but I'd really prefer to have a faster melee weapon. Ooh! I need that. Yes! Ooh! This might be better. It is not. But that's okay. We've got some Crimsonite, and that's what we need. Crimson Titan? Crimson Knight. Whatever. Ah. That is a Wolver. These guys do piercing damage. We are now very happy that we have piercing resistance. And they've got a healer. We are not happy they have a healer. Come here. Ah. Taking care of the healer. Enemies don't take damage from traps, so even though I would get my ass set on fire for standing on those vents, they don't, and that's also kind of upsetting. Ah, okay, so the dash has a cooldown that's shown in the bottom. Why am I only just now remembering these things? I feel a little bad when they go when they yelp like that. Like it's so mean. I don't really hold with you know violence to animals. 
Well, when they're trying to eat me, I mean, I have to make an exception, obviously. Should have seen that coming. Aha. Victory is mine. More exploding shit. Alright. Oh! Chameleons. Sneaking up behind me. I see how you are. Suffer. Pay for your crimes. I'm not a very forgiving soul. <laughs> Alright, so there's a key there, which means that there's going to be a door, but I have not found it yet, so I'm not worried about it yet. You never know what's going to happen when you pick up a key. Sometimes you get attacked for that stuff. Another primal, or, yeah, primal spark. We may even have, at some point soon, enough... Okay, so that's the elevator down. Looking at my mini-map up here. So there's the locked door, which means I want that key, because whatever's behind that door is going to be something I want. No monsters spawning. When you've got multiple people, only one person has to carry the key. So you can do things like have one person carry the key and just more loot. Okay. Let's see how it is. That is a lot of those shields. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck those and chuck on with our day. Go down a level. Hopefully we'll be able to find a little more Crimsonite on the next level. The hood and the hatchet leveled up. Those are both good things. Forge those real quick before we head into the level itself, because we're allowed to do that in the little starting area of every level. We can swap out our equipment. And this is what I was talking about, like, you know, okay, yeah, I'm carrying everything, but I can't change equipment unless I can get to one of these right here. And click on it properly, because I'm bad at this. Then fire crystal, I have six. Warm fire crystal, I have five. Okay, so I will attempt to level the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Got a heat bonus now. And I will attempt to level the hell out of this thing. Alright. The magic hood's a bit better. The heavy hatchet is a bit better. Definitely higher damage than anything else I could speak swinging right now. Yeah, that's got a high attack speed increase added onto it. That's kind of sad. Alright. Oop. We're definitely going to want a better, uh, faster sword before we take on Snarby. Well, I do love how just how much this clears the uh, bushes and stuff for item hunting. Loot getting purposes. Da, 
Dang. Talk to him, I want to slash these things to death. Because they're trying to eat me. Things in the darkness, there's no time to react. Way to lock me in, guys. Do not like healers at all. Damn. Oh, those are thorns. Okay. Walking into thorns is bad. Beasts do not like being frozen, which makes me laugh. Oh, hello. This is why you want a faster weapon by this point. This is a place where a bomb would come in handy. to me they get set on fire for a little while. This is why I want a machine gun. Ah, crap. Turn that back on. Now there's two healers, and they're gonna heal each other. Nope, stop healing each other. Victory is mine. Oh, another primal spark. Excellent. It gets us three primal sparks. That's a good thing. Almost certain that's a good thing. Cobalt armor levels up. The heavy hatchet levels up. I don't think I've got the crystals to level those right now, but hey, any heat is good heat, right? Unless you're in Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> oh yeah, they gave me fire crystals for that We are not doing Blades of the Fallen yet. We are not. We're not. We're going to come back to that, because that is a crap quest, and I hate it so much. <clears throat> that said, we are totally equipping the Defender Easy Night Shield. 
It's a good looking shield. It's a good looking shield. have an auto gun. That bothers me. I really don't need the blast bomb. Um, what I do need is a better sword. And the whole... Ah, oh, the Cameron. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's little but brother, the Troika. The, these are basically the upgraded versions of the heavy hatchet. Um, that. Stylus saber well appointed to foiling your enemies. Ha. Cutter. Wow, that's a fast sword. Wow. That's actually a really vicious little item. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to pick up a cutter. More power than the heavy hatchet. Much greater speed. Doesn't cause stun, but I don't need it to cause stun. Can't sell that item. Well, if I equip this item as weapon one, and say, ha, that'll be 300. That'll give me enough crowns to buy a cutter. Ha! So we will buy a cutter. Ha! Huzzah! We own a cutter. It is now bound to me. Alright, that's a bit better. Now then. We, now that we're not swinging a slab of iron on a stick, we can go do Blades of the Fallen. Now, the Caliber is a much more powerful sword than the Cutter, once we have that, as far as damage goes, but I don't know about the speed. I haven't actually used a Cutter before, so we'll see how this goes for me. Because Blades of the Fallen. This is a quest I frickin' hate, and you're gonna see why. Oh, that's, that's cool looking. So what happens if I charge it? Okay, I like you. I like you a lot. Outbreak Gaming is recruiting. Guilds are recruiting. I really wanted to play with other people, I'd join a guild, but for right now, I'm content to go it alone, as it were. I hate this mission. And those little white things are why I hate this mission. They are infinitely spawning. And then they get close to you and they explode for what is not a small amount of damage. And then the boss of this mission, or the big fight of this mission, these things are not fun either. Except for that was fun. I, I gotta admit, this cutter, I really like the cutter. Cause that, wow. You travel while you're wielding this thing. Holy crap. Ow. See what I mean about, ow, see what I mean? And these guys are just gonna keep spawning until I'm done with the freaking mission. It's a 
little hard to control where I'm going. Just a bit. But you know what? That's fine. Because this is really kind of cool. Aha! So those weights that I moved before, I have to go back and bring with me, while being chased by all these little white bastards. So you, you see why I hate this quest? I mean, it's short, really, when it gets right down to it. It's a short quest, but damn is it annoying. depressing. Like, listen to that music. It's raining. I'm in a graveyard. This is just a depressing place to be. Wait, what? There's a wait here? Did I only have to bring one? Or am I gonna need... Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, this part's gonna suck. That hurts. Every time. I really wish the cutter hit everything around me like it looks like it does. Alright, so these are Trojans. And the problem here is that those things are still happening. Which makes getting around them difficult. Granted, once I'm there, I can shred him, but... Uh, if there's three of these that I have to deal with. While avoiding all the little exploding bastards. It'd be nice if they, like, dropped hearts or something. But they don't. That's, that actually helps a great deal. The whole ridiculous numbers of hit thing. Like that's, wow, that's actually way less annoying than it used to be. Because if you could only do like two or three hits, then you couldn't kill them really quick. Just grab all the stuff and get that F out of here, because I hate this place. They don't even want to give you loot, because they know you hate being here. Cobalt armor still leveled. Hooray. Ooh, what's that? Scrap metal. I got a sinful brew, too. Hmm. This thing, actually, I really like the cutter. That is a good weapon. I will probably not be using the caliber. I probably will replace my frost gun with the blaster, though, because that's just... A lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Done recon left by ultimate. That's the battle with the Snarble Axe. So, yeah. That's basically the end of Act 1, is what I'm up to. Uh, the Snarble Axe is this game's version of Andariel from Diablo 2. We're gonna ro we're gonna rock with the blaster for right now. Get rid of the frost gun. Get rid of the caliber. I like the caliber. Don't get me wrong. Um, actually, I should keep the caliber around because you can upgrade that later. So the striker is the upgraded version of the cutter. 
Yeah, I really like the cutter. And the cutter series of things is probably what I will be working with for a while. Hmm. I like that rapid attack speed damage thing going on. Cobalt armor. Warm fire crystals. I have 12 warm fire crystals. Sweet. We should definitely... Definitely do that. And we are not leveling up the frost gun, because I thought we sold the frost gun. Sell the frost gun. Check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay. Mineral. I have two crimsonite. And I have three primal sparks. Let's go to the token trader and see if three primal sparks will get me anything. Rinks! Sup, dude? I don't have all our own shoes. None of that. None of that. Primal sparks. Ooh. I can get a couple of things with these. Frost gel. So this is mostly crafting materials. If I were to have 20 of them, I could get some really nice stuff. Royal skewer. The jelly gems, those drop from a boss. Grim sparks. Forge sparks. I think there's a. I think the, yeah, bark module. I think these all drop from uh, Snarby. Or no, it's the Fermius Fang. The Fermius Fang drops from Snarbalax. So if you, like, you know, farm up the boss, you can get some interesting items. Bristling buckler is a good one. Um, actually, I might want to look into um, a hat or armor that can get me sword damage right now. Because any damage bonus to the attack speed I've got with this frickin' sword would be wonderful. I am not seeing any at the moment, but... Elemental Cloak, Volt Moon, Pathfinder... No. Scale mail. Padded. Ignition. This is not helping me. Not even a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm wondering. <laughs> the Unbinding Smith and the Variant Smith. So you. The one variant ticket. Oh, that's expensive. But basically what you can do is you can... I could spend 20,000 crowns, put an item on the thing, and come away with a uh, random, unique thing on it. And I think... In this case, like, you... Do you have to spend... Yeah, you spend energy for... Unbinding it. But I'm probably going to keep my cutter around for a while. That is a nice weapon. Um, I do not believe I've got enough time to take on the Snarbalax, but what I can do, I can probably go on search team, or, actually I'm going to go into the arcade. I'm going to, I'm going to do an arcade mission, or not mission so much as I'm going to go wandering around in the arcade. We're only going to go down to the cross, the uh, first clockwork terminal. And, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Where do we want to go? Slime way. Nice keep. All path, hard passage. Sense. If I remember correctly, in order to build us our auto gun, we needed mechanical bits. And these all look like. Okay, so the Dark Falcon Gate's the way we're going. Changing the difficulty level also ups the rewards that you get by, like, an order of magnitude. So if I was feeling confident, what I would do is I would up the difficulty level before I went into the arcade. Look, it's a quartermaster. I can purchase things from her. For energy, if I felt like 
there is some ridiculous shit she has for sale. So the bolting blade. Ah, uh, upgraded proto sword. All right. Well, we're just gonna go down into the dungeon and see how this goes for us. If you have more than one person with you, you get like all of you doing a dynamic pose, like into the dungeon we go. It's kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna work our way down to the clockwork station, head back to the surface, and that'll probably be it for this particular segment because they're gonna be rebooting the server, and that's fine. Oh, oh, oh! None of it's the right color. You people all suck. Okay, but it's right there, so we can go get it. Wow, this thing mines super quick, too. I love it. I really need to, you know, invest in a cutter sooner next time. Hi! Wow. I'm like an epileptic, epileptic Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Do, 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 do. Hmm. What's in this direction? Explore all of the things. Health restoratives. Ooh. 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 Goody. Crystals. Crystals with which to upgrade my shit. Ah, sweet and health restoratives. I am set for a dive. This is great. I just need to find the elevator. Bring it on, bitches. I kill you so fast, you don't even know what hit you. I don't usually play the uh, rapid fire damage dealer in games like this, but you know what? This is a lot of fun. I, I tend to prefer tanky, bruisery stuff that, you know, lots of damage in a single shot kind of guys that can take a lot of damage. Not this, uh, lightning bruiser kind of thing. What's really nice is that that's all just based on the weapon. If I was wearing, like, heavy armor, I would still be this nimble, cuttery, nasty thing. I do not want to be poisoned. So we're going to stay off of those grates. Man, this thing is so good. How did I not try this weapon out sooner? Ooh, cool. Bite a pot. You, come here. There ain't no better way to make short work of freaking... It's not going to help me come, like, boss fight time, because bosses follow the fairly standard pattern of Zelda, where it's like you have to make them vulnerable... Uh, take a couple of shots at them and then wait until they, you know, open themselves up to attack again. Is this just a dead end? Oh, I hit a button. Oh, okay, this gate over... Was it this gate? Yeah, it must have been this gate. Yeah, I haven't been this way yet. Get my, get my happy ass lost on stream. Good job. There we go. More people to kill. I must be going in the right direction. There are these guys aren't dead yet. Aha! The cuttings! The cuttings continue. Must be a switch under one of these blocks. Man, this thing... It's so nice. Like in, in every game, like there's in a game. If you like playing a game, it's because you find a mechanic in that game that feels good to you, right? Like there's something about either the controls or the way the game handles or the way the game looks that just like speaks to you. And I gotta say, the cutter is certainly proven to be one of those things for me right now.
Like, the rapid fire, lots of damage in a very small amount of time. That's... This is something that speaks to me. Especially because it's seriously speeding up my dungeon drives. And since it's just basic damage, there's nobody... None of the enemies I'm encountering really have a special resistance to it. That said, we can also use this blaster, because... This thing is nasty. I love it. And... Mega shot. But yeah, the cutter's... The cutter's gonna hold a special place in my heart for a while. Cutter and weapons like it. Just because... Wow. I like not having to wait to take another swing. And hitting twice on every swing. Like, that's really sexy. It's like being Master Yi with a fully stacked devourer. It's that feeling of being utterly made of bullshit. Nobody can stop you. Alright, what's in here? Oh, you guys. Suck, guys. Like, seriously, I just mowed through like three gremlins in short order and with no problem. And while I was saying that sentence, I mowed through another five. I mean... I don't even care that much about the healers anymore, because what's it gonna do? Heal people that are already dead because I just killed them that fast? There's something to be said for speedruns. Especially when you are uh, just going for a whole bunch of shiny stuff. Ah, no red ones yet. Eh, yeah, might as well grab another one of these. Running through the dungeon, cutting up the people. Gotta go. Or is this a say, guys? I suppose it should be. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Can't stick around to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Must keep on moving ahead. No time to survive my misstep. Trust me with what you can't see. Take my lead, I'll set you free. Follow me, set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Oh yeah. Looking for a switch. Aha! I had a feeling there was one there. Whee! Danger is lurking around the good time. Trust you. <laughs> that would be the main enemy right there. Yep, there it is. I knew it was going to happen, too. Too many explosives is going to make using the cutter a dangerous proposition. Alright. Aha! Violence. Violenced. Alright, because I want to see what happens when we use the charge attack on this thing. Doesn't even survive the whole thing. I love it. This is a vicious little weapon. I like it. This is probably going to make a couple of boss fights are really easier. 
there's certainly a couple of fights that are going to be coming up where I'm up against some really big stuff that's going to take more than a couple of hits to bring down. It'll be nice not to have to, you know, take two swings back off, take two swings back off, and just kind of power through them. Ooh, I can actually level up the cutter. And the defender, but the cutter's going to take priority because, holy crap, have you seen this thing? <laughs> Alright, forging that cutter. How do we... Yep, we've got 12 more fire crystals. We are forging that cutter. And it double leveled up. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that's good. That's good damage. We're not going to worry about the defender right now. Eh, we might as well put at least one into it and see if it'll work. It's a 60% chance of leveling it. Hey, it worked. Cool. Alright. So our shield is better, our sword is wombo better, we're gonna go just hit people with things. This is another area where this is not gonna go well for me, though. Touching those thorns deals damage, but doesn't necessarily stop my movement, so if I'm like swinging a whole bunch, I'm gonna have to be real cautious here. Yeah, walked into the thorns. Walked right into the damn thorns. I knew that was going to happen, too. Aha! Okay, so the key's over there. What's over here? This is a question that demands answering. Nice. Loot. Oh, okay. You're not going to let me out until everything's dead. I, s I see how it is, game. I, I, I see your ridiculous nonsense, and I raise you an Ars Arcanum. Aha! I really like this sword. I think it looks stupid, but I really like the way like, it works. Okay, so I guess I did all that for some cash. That works for me? <laughs> oh! Another still is. Ow, 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 ow. You still got a defense up. Extreme prejudice. Oh, I did it again. Man, attack ups are really effective with this thing, though. Any increase to my attack speed just ridiculously increases my DPS because of the way this thing works. I love it. This might be problematic. Crystals. Can we find a red one? Yes! We most certainly can. How much energy? Three energy. I can I can do three energy. Brings me down to twenty-two energy, but you know what? Loot. 
there are, in the arcade, energy gates. You spend some of the game's higher form of currency, which you can buy for in-game money. Um, crowns can be used to buy energy. That kind of a ridiculous return. Uh, but those gates can open up, like, bonus areas or... Um, Ooh, different theme. Is this like a boss fight? You threw a freaking hammer at me! Let's see how you like it. I'm throwing a hammer at you, but I'm. I guy's a flamethrower. Make him die first. a freaking healing item. When do you guys were since when have you guys been allowed to do that? That was it? That was it? Really? That was it? Ah, oh, you people suck. Alright, well, we got some uh we got some stuff. Certainly got a lot of money. Leveled up the blaster. Not sure if we'll be able to actually like level it, level it, but we got it. Came away with a little more crimson night. Always a good thing. Alright. Now, this is a nice thing that they do for you. I can either... I can, you know, do some shopping. Either... You know, so he sells better recipes, basically. All Light Shield, Flourish Recipe, Super Stun Gun Recipe. Prismatech Alchemer Recipe, so I could start, like, trying to build stuff like that. What's the all light shield? Oh, that thing. Right. Upgraded versions of that actually start looking really freaking sweet. Uh, I really don't need any of the recipes he's selling here. But this is how you get some of the really good items in the game, is you get down to these areas where you can find basil and uh, buy the better uh, stuff from him. I'm not sure why this is here. These are cool. These are, you can just stand on these and restore yourself with full health. You find those right before boss rooms, too. Warm crystals, I have eight. I can try three to level up my gun. You know what? I really like the blaster, so we're going to do that. Eh, heat bonus, but not instant level three. But between the cutter and the blaster... We are in good shape for eventually going up against the Snarbal Axe. We're going to quit the expedition here. Go back to Haven. This is the grand total of what we came back with. Whole bunch of dark matter. 754 crowns. That is not a bad haul, actually, for just like a level 1 run. And the speed at which we did it was... I'm fairly happy with myself. Uh, server's going to be going down in about 10 minutes, so we're probably going to stop there. Uh, I'm going to check real quick to see if I can't make myself an auto gun, because even though I just upgraded the blaster, I really want an auto gun. Just rapid fire is the way to go. I still need... Huh. Oh, iron gear. Okay, that's a... Okay, so that's... That's gonna take me a while before I can build that. Uh, dim fire crystals, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, always want dim instead of cracked. You can trade down or up, it looks like. So if I find cracked fire crystals, I can exchange them up, and I will probably be able to do that more and more as the game progresses. So that's nice. Alright. What was it? 
general goods merchant sell. Oh, stuff. He sells stuff. Recipes. Wrench wand recipe. Nice. Shard bomb. Oh, he sells the autogun recipe. For much cheaper than I bought it for. I feel like an idiot. Oh, well. These things, they happen. You can buy different faces and different personal colors and stuff like that. Granted, those are expensive. But the deeper you go and the longer your runs get, the more money you make. I really don't see myself not using a cutter for a very long time. So I'm actually going to sell off the caliber now. Zunichi? Um, they speak so weird. They speak so weird, you guys. I really wish I could find... Oh, I know what exactly what will get me. Ooh. I need to be able to start building Snarbalax stuff. That will. Or Wolver. The Wolver coat is going to give me a ridiculous amount of sword attack power. Which, when mixed with the cutter, is going to be pretty ridiculous. So, we have that to look forward to. That'll be... Eh, next time? Next time on Penzance Plays, we're going to go take on the Snarbalax. Well, next time on Penzance Plays, Spiral Knights. I will, I will probably play other things in between there and then. So yeah, watch for that. I suppose should be good. <laughs>